What's up with you? For today's video, we're the full Hammer Moves Pokemon team. We've got Hammer Arm, Crab Hammer, Dragon Hammer, Gigaton Hammer, and Ice Hammer, and Wood Hammer. Now, all these moves are in the game, but unfortunately, Dragon Hammer is not in there, so I can't use it. I did this theme a couple of years ago now, so if you want to check it out after this video, maybe you want to check which Hammer moves and what combinations I did all those years ago. I'll be only allowed to attack with hammer moves, and I'm allowed to have status moves on my team, but as long as I do damage with the hammer moves, that was the challenge. I've got four battles today. The first one, I don't know who this is against. Maybe uh, someone could translate for me. This is a battle on the Poke Portal, and we've got a Psyduck leader. Like, what is this? So we're going to claw wits here with Crab Hammer, Sword Dance, Subdued, and Entrainment. I'm going to be swapping out here and going into another Pokemon, because I was thinking, I don't know how much damage I can really do to that. So I'll be able to get back to that Clawwood set in a bit. So on my swap, the side up went for an Amnesia. I'm like, is this some crazy, like, uh, Everlight set? So I'm going to go for a Thunder Wave here. Thunder Wave is going to miss from my Tinker Top. Now, the side up's got Aqua Tail, and it hits me with a blue little tail. It was, it was pretty bulky, too. Now, my Tinker Titan has got an Eject Bunt as the item. More on that set a little bit later. Now, Kamala is going to come into this matchup, and Kamala has got the Comatose ability. So, the hammer move I gave this was Wood Hammer. And I've got Sleep Talk, uh, Sop Pile, and Wish. Sorry, I, I, don't have, I don't have Sleep Talk. That I was initially going to use Sleep Talk, but I initially um, was thinking maybe I could go Sleep Talk Wood Hammer, but I added some more moves onto it. Um, I've got the uh, EVs on that, Max Health and Max Attack. Out comes Gigant something, and I'm going to go for the Wood Hammer, Gigancy, and that is the end of the uh, massive Salt Shaking Minecraft Pokemon. That's two Pokemon down now. Next Pokemon is going to be Sarah Ledge. I'm like, well, there's not much I could do here. It's going to go for a close combat, and that is the end of my Kamala. I think there was a little bit of lag there online, and uh, my Switch almost like died. So I think there could have been a little bit of lag there during the close combat section. Like, my entire Switch was running like a snail for some reason at that stage. Next Pokemon there is going to be Clawitzer. They're going to be swapping the Sarah Ledge out. Now, this was a Max Health, sorry, Max Attack and Max Speak for which are Jolly Nature, Scope Lens as the item, and we got that big old Cram Hammer. Now, we got the Poor Mod coming in for a Double Shock, and Double Shock is going to wreck my Claw Witzer. Not much I could have done there. It was a very, very difficult swap in when you see the rest of my team. At least now they can't use that move over and over again. I guess unless they are, uh, you know, Terra. So going to Grimstar, we've got Hammer Arm, Swagger, Bulk Up, and Trick with a Life Orb. Double Shock is going to fail because they use it in succession. I'm guessing they probably had a choice item there. And that is the end of Poor Bot. He got flattened. This Grim Snarl was Max Health and Max Attack out of nature. I had Ring Target as the item. And I also, no, I had Life Orb. So this is what I was thinking for. I had like two sets. I had like a Ring Target Trick set. This one had Life Orb. So I'm getting very mixed up with it. Anyway, so in comes King Twilight. And it's going to watch me down real, real fast. It's not going to put me on the first flush. It's going to put me on the second flush, right? Uh, so that's the end of Grim Snarl. Next Pokemon is going to be Crab Abominal. So we got Crab Hammer, Ice Hammer, Snowscape, and Bulk Up. It's got Terra Water Crab Hammer. I guess it is a crab after all. Unfortunately, there wasn't really many Pokemon. There's not like there wasn't a Pokemon that had like four hammer moves. Sadly, I, I wish I had like you know Smeagol in the game. I could have done that, but uh, nope. I'm actually really curious to check out my old video and see what I did there with all the rest of the hammer moves. So I'm gonna go for the Terra, the Terra Crab Hammer. Now, the King Gambit obviously is hopefully going to go for an Iron Head here. I'm going to resist that. And it's going to go for that. So it's doing hardly any damage. So now it's going to outspeed me. It's a speed tie. And Kotal Cleave does not take me out. Crab Hammer almost takes it out there. And I outspeed with the Ice Hammer. Disrespect. That was very, very close. Now, the item I've got on my Crabominal is the... Uh, is It's a Quick Claw. That's it. I almost said Bright Powder. I'm very, very good at messing my items up today. Next Pokemon is Sarah Lynch, and they're going to go for a Phantom Force. So I was actually hoping I could get a uh, a Quick Claw and then get that up. So this turn, I went for a Snowscape. I got outsped, obviously, no activations. And that is the end of Crabominal. But yeah, pretty good Pokemon all around there, Crabominal, on this team. Next is Tigaton. Now, this set was sort of made up to try and set up this little Wudu. It was a Gigaton Hammer, Ice Hammer, and I've got Thunder Wave on there too, and Sweet Kiss. So first things first, I'm going to go for Thunder Wave. 
Now, what I was trying to do, I was trying to get the Parafusion going with Sweet Kiss. And then I was going to go for Gigaton Hammer, then swap into Suda Water and go for Copycat on the Suda Water as my last Pokemon. Um, I don't think that's been revealed yet, but I just want to tell you what my strategy was there. So we got this Sword Dancing Seraledge here. I'm going to go for a Sweet Kiss. I'm like, well, if that hits itself, it's going to do like a lot of damage there. So I'm hoping for a hit or, you know, I go for Gigaton Hammer, swap into Suda Water. That was the plan anyway. So I've got to execute it. So now they're going to go for another Sword Dance. They are getting so, so greedy with the boost there on Sword Dance. So I'm going to go for the Gigaton Hammer. Excellent damage there considering. And now what I can do is hopefully go for a swap. If they hit themselves with Confusion Dance. And uh, they've got Parallel. Like, wait, this is my chance here. I could actually do this. But maybe I should just keep attacking because it's got plus six up. So go for an Ice Hammer. That's not really going to do too much. I can't use Gigaton Hammer consecutively. Uh, the Serral Leech is still confused at this point in the game. And it's going to hit itself in confusion and faint itself. They have to be a little bit salty about that. But i got to say, they they should have done so many sword dances. They they, they probably could have gone around that. Last Pokemon is a naughty hack mod. We need to get rid of this. And I'm going to swap the Tinkaton out because I might be able to do something. i got, I got to, I got to summon, summon this luck up. So going to Sudowoodo here, this is actually pretty funny. So it's going to go for a Pyro Ball. I knew that it would. That's not going to do very much damage. Now, I've got Woodhammer, Hammer Arm, and I've got Copycat and Mimic. So I was trying to copy the Hammer move from another Pokemon and then get around it. Watch this. I went for a Hammer Arm and they broke for a Sucker Punch. Sucker Punch is going to turn it to a Dark Time. like, ooh, I got a Rattle. On top of that Rattle, I actually got a Hammer Arm. Super effective hit. Cinderace lives there. And I was like, oh, I'll go for a Copycat here. I'll copycat that hammer arm and it went for U10. I lived on four health, got another rattle. <laughs> I got rattled twice in a row. And I went for a copycat and unfortunately I didn't get a hammer move. I got U10. But a little bit of disrespect U turn there. And that is the end of the battle. Imagine dying to a U turn shoulda woulda with two rattles. I'd be pretty rattled inside my cage too. Thank you to my opponent there. At least they didn't DC. That was a pretty funny ending. Let's get on to battle number two. This is a battle against uh, Pi Pierre or Pierre. I don't really know how to say that, but uh, this is a random battle on the uh, Poker Portal 2. Now, the first Pokemon we got here is going to be the uh, the big old yellow bird. I'm going to go for a Ice Hammer. Sorry, I went for a Terra Water, and I was like, maybe I'll go for Ice Hammer here, and that'll do some really, really good damage, you know? So I've turned into a Water type. Now, I know they're not going to go for Electric type turn one. They're probably going to go for a Flying move, and this will definitely be able to take out you. Crabottle has got a lot of attack. And it's got a freaking Focus Sash. I'm like, oh, that's that's unlucky. Because normally that doesn't really carry Focus Sash. Uh, now I'm going to get my Speed Drop, which doesn't really matter because I would have got outsped anyway. So I'm going to get hit there by an Air Slash. Then they've gone for a Roost. I'm like, Roost, that is, that's very, very overconfident. Like, you are underestimating the Mighty Crab and Ice Hammer is going to take it out. That was, uh, they should have gone for Electric Move there for sure instead of trying to conserve that. So that's the end of that. Next Pokemon is Croc Coral. Hang on. Croc Coral? Is that like a play on Horrible? Anyway, I've got no idea what that first Pokemon was called Fool for, but uh, I can tell you what, uh, I'm very full at the moment because I just ate an entire pizza in two minutes, maybe five. Next Pokemon is Champ Pigeon. Wait, Chap Pignon. Okay, anyway, I got a, I got a uh, another Quick Claw, but I got a Mac Punch. I was going to go for Ice Ammo, so... That is the end of the crab. Uh, the crab has got anger point as the ability. I've got max health and max attack out of nature. Next Pokemon is Kloitza. I'm going to go for entrainment because I want to get rid of the uh, technician that's probably on this Breloom. And it's got technician. So now it's going to have Mega Launcher. I'm like, well, I'm pretty safe. They're probably not going to have, uh, you know, um, I don't know, Dragon Pulse or Water Pulse Breloom. And it's going to go for a Bullet Seed here. Now, the item I've got on my Clawitza is going to be Salibre, not Scope Lens. I did actually have thoughts of having Scope Lens, but I changed my mind. Unfortunately, uh, it is going to be uh, taking him out of three hits there. I don't know whether it's got um, uh, like any sort of like item to increase it, you know, like loaded dice. So I'm going to go for the Ice Hammer, and I'm going to be able to one-shot. I, ne I nearly called that Champagne. It sort of looks like Champagne. I don't know what these names even mean. I don't know what that means at all. So that's the end of the Brello. Maybe maybe someone knows what these mean. Next is Ser Serpent Day Eel. I don't know. That has to be like another name. Like maybe a German name for like um, walking meme. I'm not sure. Anyway, we've got a Terra Water here. Now this Tinkerton set has got uh, Max B. 
speed and max, sorry. Yeah, max speed and max stack. And we've got that, um, got that extra damage there. So we're going to be going for a... Actually, this is funny because I went for the sunny day. And uh, after the sunny day, it's going to get us a ability boost. I went for Thunder Wave. So I thought, you know, that's going to be very important going for that. Slowing this Pokemon down. So all I can really do here is either go for the Sweet Kiss. And then I can start going for Ice Hammer or Gigaton. It wasn't really a... Let's be real, wasn't really an easy Pokemon to swap into because they had that big boost there. And I know they were going to use their water type uh, signature move against me. So they hit themselves with confusion, which is pretty good. So then I went into Kamala and I'm like, if I can, you know, obviously live this turn, I can go for a mighty wood hammer, you know? So the chickens are flying around the walking meat and it hits itself with confusion twice. I'm like, wow, that was really, really lucky. So go for the wood hammer and that is going to drop it. I was like, wow, that, they have to be salty after that. Like, two confusions? So, Kamala's going to take some recoil damage there. And now comes Typhlosion the Teeny. So, Typhlosion the Teeny is going to be a meanie. And it's going to go for Lava Plume. And Kamala's going to leave. I was like, wow, that's that's actually a pretty good leap. I went for the Wood Hammer. Obviously, it's going to do no damage. That's all I really had. But uh, I'm going to fake myself. So, now I can swap in my own Pokemon. At this stage, I was like, nah, I don't think I'm going to go into Tingaton here. So we're going to go into Grimsnar. Also, the sun is going to fade from before. Now, this is kind of interesting. So it's going to go for a Lava Plume. Now, Lava Plume is actually pretty scary because all of my moves are physical. There's no uh, there's no special hammer moves at all. None of them are special. Like Game Freak, if you're listening or anything like that, make a hammer move that's special. So I'm going to go for a trick here because I got an idea. I was like, the, t the second this attacks, it will faint itself, even if I faint too. I got an Assault Vest, and it's a mix set, and I lived the Earthquake. I'm like, oh, that would have been so good if I went for Lava Plume. I would have lived that, and Typhlosion would have fainted. But that's what happened anyway. So Grimstar's going to go for a bit of a flex there in the mirror, and out comes Lugan Lug Lug Rock. Lug Rock, Lug and Rock. Anyway, it's going to go for a Trailblaze, and that is the end of Grimstar. He did his very best there. It took out that uh, that mixed Typhlosion. So we're going to slip into Suda Wudu here. I can go for Hammer Arm. This should uh, clean it up. It's going to go for the Trailblaze. Trailblaze does some pretty good damage to me, but Suda Wudu's got some, uh, it's got some nice base defense. So here comes the Wood Hammer, and that is going to be the end of the Lycan Rock. And that is also the end of the second battle. I'm going to take some recoil damage there too, because I've got Rattled. I don't know why I had Rattle. I think I got... I was like, oh, this has got Rattle. I'm just going to use it. I was going to use Rocket, but I wanted to change it up. Because I think... I get the feeling last time I may have used Sudowoodoo in my Hammer Moves Team too. I could be wrong, but I just get the feeling that I did. I'm actually going to watch the Hammer Moves video right after this. I'll leave it as a pinned comment in the comment section too if you want to have a little bit of a trip down memory lane. All right, first Pokemon. Oh, it's another King Toilet, another blue King Toilet. Oh, they must be getting sold a lot, lady. It's going to go for a Poison Jab on my Kamala Swap. I don't know, man. That was a really, really specific move to go for there. And Grimstar is going to be fainting. So I was like, wow, that was... I don't know that was either just dumb luck or... I'm not sure. So I went into Zigaton. Uh, this is a battle against Alistar as well. This one, I believe, was on stream. And uh, we got the poor mod coming in. So on this turn, I went for Thunder Wave. It's like, wow. So that was like two incredible predicts there at the start. Uh, now it's going to go for Fire Punch. That does a lot of damage. And of course, my eject button is going to activate. So ejecting me out of this game. I probably could have used something better. I was thinking like... like back on looking back on this i could have probably used like something like endure i don't know endure and sticky barb why i had the confusion and the sweet kiss up then i could have like pseudo water using copycat again i don't know but then again it'll use endure wouldn't it? i don't know i'd probably just have to use sub or something like that and then have toxic up and faint anyway so that's gonna be the end of uh, my pokemon we're gonna swap into actually we're not gonna swap in the opponent's gonna swap into the king gambit again now, this crab is going to go for its terror. I tended to terror this crab a lot of the time because it was just simply so useless. So, I've got the water going here. Um, King Gambit's actually pretty bulky, so I don't imagine to take it out, and it, it does very underwhelming damage. Here comes Poison Jab. Poison Jab is not going to take me out, but I do get poison, which is kind of unfortunate. It's like, oh, it doesn't really matter too much. I'm going to go for a second one, and that wasn't a crit, sadly. And I'm going to take some more poison damage here. Now I get a quick claw on this turn, and I'm going to be able to outspeed with Crabber, but Crabber misses. I'm like, oh, and Quail Tower Cleave is going to take out. I think I said that code. I think I called that Cow Tower Cleave. What would that move even be? That could be like a signature milk tank move. Cow Tower Cleave. Hmm, what would that even like entail? Cow Tower. Cow Tokley. 
Okay, right, I know what to do. In real life, right, you get a car, but your car breaks down. So what you do, you use Kowtow Cleave, and you get like a herd of cows, right, and they pull your um, car that's broken down all the way to the petrol station. Then after they, you know, you filled your car up, you give the cows like a pat and some food and that sort of thing. That's what Kowtow Cleave is in real life. Actually, I've got a good story for you. It, 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 it's actually quite good. So anyway, back to the battle for a sec. I'll tell you this amazing story in a sec. So we got a, a metronome moonlight set. I'm like, what? So now they're going to go for a, a play rough. Uh, play rough is going to do a decent amount of damage. I went for the crab hammer here. Crab hammer is a two hit KO. Another metronome. And they got revelation dance, which is going to be super effective because it's electric time. I'm like, come on. So uh, real quick, my story here, right? My, uh, my sailor break, om nom nom. Now, I was almost running out of uh, petrol. I was driving along. The light came on above the empty tank. I'm like, man, this, uh, I don't know. Like, this light has been on, obviously, on for a while because I didn't see it. I didn't notice it. So I'm driving along like a snail to the petrol station. I'm like, please make it, please make it. And this was on the day of work as well. I don't know why they went for ice or crash there. I don't think they may have misclicked or they didn't have any other moves. I'm not sure. Like, when you compare that to their early on moves, I've got no idea what they were thinking there. Uh, anyway, they brought an elephant. Anyway, back to my story. I'm crawling along, right? I run out of fuel in the petrol station, right? But the petrol station sort of is on a little bit of a dip down. So I've got out the car. I've picked the handbrake off. I don't know why it was on the first place. And I rolled it into the Bowser. You wouldn't read about it. I was like, yes. And like I'm pushing at the last meter and there's this person that's like, who's just watching me like, did you just run out of fuel in the fuel station? I'm like, yep. I was like, the timing, it was absolutely incredible. I bet you that's happened to no one before. Like they've run out of fuel in the fuel station and they've pushed their car like one centimeter and they've fueled it up and be like, wow, that was incredible. Anyway, back to the battle there. I'm going to finish off of the elephant with the Gigaton hammer. So the Gigaton hammer and out comes the Drift Blim. I was like, oh, okay, what's this going to be? I went for Ice Hammer and a miss, and then it used Minimize. I'm thinking, oh, no, this is bad. They're just going to bat and pass these stats on or uh, do something mean like that. So I went for the Ice Hammer. I landed, which is pretty cool. I got a speed drop. At this point, it doesn't matter. They're just setting up Minimizers and stuff. I'd say they're going to baton pass them on or start attacking me. I'm thinking they're probably going to baton pass them on onto that uh, that Don fan, right? So I'm going to go for another Ice Hammer. They've got for Focus Energy, so they're passing a crit on two. And with, like, negative, like, six in evasion, sorry, uh, I actually landed the Ice Hammer on the Drift Blim. Like, that was super lucky landing that. There's... There was no way of me ever landing that, and I did land it. Last Pokemon is the uh, Elephant. I'm going to go for the Giga Chan Hammer. He lived. I was like, damn, son. It's going to go for a high horsepower, and that is the end of Tingaton. Now, for some reason, I sort of had a mental blank. I was like, yo, I can go for Copycat now and go for Copycat. Uh, Gigaton Hammer, I, I accidentally copycatted high horsepower, but it doesn't matter, I would have taken it out anyway with any one of my hammer moves, and that is the end of the third battle. I still have been able to get the Gigaton Hammer, I sort of would have, but uh, I was trying, alright, I was Terra Steel. Last battle here, this one is against uh, Mega Me, this one I believe is on stream as well. So we got our first Pokemon, it's called Thick and Juicy. I don't know why it's called Thick and Juicy for, but I, I was a bit sus when I seen that Ursa Ring's color on mine. That's the same color as a pickle. So anyway, I'm going to be going for a stockpile here. It's stockpiling up my defenses. Now, this was very, very scary. Ursa Ring, right? Uh, he's pretty pokey Pokemon. He's going to go for a belly drum. Like, oh, no. I don't want to get swept. I'm not getting swept by thick and juicy, right? People will never, ever let me forget this one. So I'm going to go for the wood. I mean, I, was like, I got this. And thick and juicy lives. I was like, what? Now I'm going to take some recoil damage there. Thick and Juicy's popped a scratch, and Kamala is going to fall out of the tree in Australia. There's nothing I can do about it. So I was like, okay, I've got to outspeed here. I'm going to go into Tinkerton. This is a desperation ice hammer, and I'm going to take out that Thick and Juicy. That was bulky. That was def. I think that was Everlight Belly Drum or something like that. I don't know why they did so little damage. Next Pokemon is Bread and Butter. I don't know why it's called Bread and Butter, but I think they're referring to the time I had to put a pickle inside Bread and Butter. But on the topic of Bread and Butter, I absolutely hate Bread and Butter pudding. It tastes, it tastes really gross, especially when there's like Sultanas on it. Anyway, back to the battle. I uh, Lots of stories say, lots of little stories. Uh, it's a Curse Miss Drevers. I was like, okay, this is probably going to be bulky. Uh, my attack didn't take it out, sadly, and it's going to go for Charm. I'm like, wow, so... Now my attack is at negative two, but I, I guess I gotta rely on crit, you know, with um with my hammer move. It does have a chance to crit, it's only one stage, so 
So finishing off the bread and butter there. So we've taken out thick and juicy. We're taking out bread and butter. Uh, Clawitzer is going to take some more curse damage. Clawitzer got a really cool shiny as well. I love the red and blue in the white. Works great. Next is Brian. So it, it, it's a full pickle team. Now, it's been a while since I've done a full pickle team before. Is it time to do a new one? What do you reckon? Leave me a comment below in the comment section. So anyway, uh, it's going to have uh, Intimidate. So now my attack is negative three. And I gave the Stantler Mega Launcher. Now, I was hoping that wouldn't actually get boosted by anything. So, it's going to go for Sand Attack. That was pretty scummy. So, I'm hoping my moves, I can at least like, land one move here. So, I'm going to go for my uh, Hammer move again. But before that, I've got to eat my Salic Broom, boosting up my speed. So, next turn, I'm going to faint anyway due to the curse. And, of course, the Brine is going to like avoid the attack and take me out with a Swift. <laughs> I'm like, come on. One Sand Attack, one miss. That's me. So I'm going to go into Tinkerton here. I was like, all right, I'm going to go for a Gigaton Hammer. Let's finish this off. I'll go for Thunder Wave first. I might be able to, you know, I might be able to get something going here. I have to at least get my item to activate. That's probably, uh, in hindsight, it probably really wasn't that good. So Stantler's going to set up a Reflect. My attack's going to miss. And then Brian got paralyzed. Now, to the Brian, they're referring to Pickle Brian. So... You know, our, you know, pickle jar, right? There's brine in there. So, like, wait, when I have, like, a brine shot, which totally never happened. So, now they're going to go for Swift again. It's like, all right, well, I know that I can take this Stantler out. I'm going to obviously be swapped out by the eject button. I wonder what Pokemon's going to come in. So, I'm going to bring in my Crab here. I'm like, all right, let's go for Crab Ammo. Yeah, that's not going to do too much. The brine snaps out of confusion and uses Swift. But watch. Watch this. The Swift um, does, like, you know, pretty good damage to me. I got a quick glow. I went for another Crab Moment. Keep watching this, right? Here comes another Swift. The damage was huge. I got critted and Anger Point activated. You wouldn't read about it. So I was like, yes, I maxed my attack out. This is really good. Reflect is gone. I got a quick claw. Not that that mattered too much. And I went for Crab Moment. And the Brine is going to get tipped down the... I don't know, the toilet. Actually, Brian would probably clear out your toilet pretty well because it's quite strong. Out comes Baby Dill. It's like a tiny little, like, pickle. I went for a disrespect Ice Hammer and I took it out as well. That was cruel. So, bye-bye, Baby Dill. You got thrown to the bin before I even went in my mouth. Next is Pickle Chips. I've never had Pickle Chips in my life. People keep telling me they're good, but I, you know, x the doubt. So, now I've got plus five in attack and I just got taken out by a, 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 a Gus Masker and Cold Pickle Chips. So... I wasn't very happy about that. Next Pokemon's going to be Tigaton. I mean, I can't go for Thunder Wave, and Thunder Wave, of course, is going to miss. Now, Pickle Chip is going to go for a Quiver Dance. I'm like, hmm, Quiver Dance and Gus. I wonder what other moves is actually out. I'm sure it's got a Bug move, but I wonder what else it does uh, actually have. So it's going to go for Struggle Bug. Um, at this stage, my special attack's going to get a drop, but that doesn't really matter, and I'm going to land the Thunder Wave here. At least now, with the Quiver Dance up, I, you know, I need to actually be able to outspend, depending on the set, of course. So I'm going to go for Gigaton Ammo. Excellent damage there on Pickle Chips. And uh, Pickle Chips is going to have a red card. So my Pokemon went out like a jet button, then red card. I was like, what the heck? So here comes Grimmsnarl. Now Grimmsnarl can go for a Hammer Arm here. And that should be enough to take it out. Now it's going to go for Gus. Gus actually does a pretty good amount of damage there. We're going to go for Hammer Arm. And that is the end of the Pickle Chips. You know, that, that's sort of, uh, that's what happens, right? When you use Hammer Arm on a bag of chips, like... I don't know, like, it's in the bottom of your bag. Wait, no, it's on the seat of your car. You don't realize it's there, and then you sit on the chips, and then they come out, and you open the bag, and it's just like a powder. Has that happened to anyone before? Then you just, like, what you do, right, is you grab the bag, you open the bag up, and then you just tip it into your mouth like a drink. Anyway, out comes, of course, there's a shiny Dragonite called Pickle Knight. Now, there's really not a lot I could do here, so what I did is I went for a little trick there. I, uh, I got rid of its uh, leftovers, so I thought it might have, like, Bright Powder or something like that, because you never know, right? People like to troll me. So the Pickle Knight is going to go for a wrap, because you need a wrap before you tap. Now, this is a Thunder Wave and wrap set. It's kind of mean. Then I <laughs> my, my, my Tinkerton had Pickpocket, and I stole, <laughs> stole the item. I got that Life Orb back. So that was good, but it was bad. I guess it would have been handy for, like, damage to the Dragon Eye, but it is fine. It was pretty funny that it activated. So... This Dragonite has Icy Wind, so I can sort of see what they're going for here. So, say they come across, like, a speedy Pokemon, you can go Icy Wind, then you go, like, Thunder Wave, and those sort of things. But I was ready. I had the Thunder Wave, and I had the Sweet Kiss. I mean, lately, I like, yesterday, I had to kiss a pickle. It wasn't really nice at all, but uh, we'll just forget about that. So, Tigaton is on its last legs here. I currently can't see its legs. It's sort of covered by its hair. There, its legs. It's, it's hiding behind its, uh, you know, uh, Goldilocks hair. Uh, that's very, very long and pink. And uh, Dragonite is going to hit itself. So the Wrap is probably doing the most damage here. Tinkerton has got like one turn left. 
So I went for a Gigaton aim out and Dragonite just lives it on one health. And I was like, wait, that's the last move used. I can, I, I, I can use my Sudowoodo here. If it gets paralyzed, I, I'm going to use Sudowoodo Gigaton ever, please. And Dragonite hits itself in confusion. You wouldn't read about it. That's the end of the battle. I don't know whether I got trolled, even though I won that. But anyway, that, that's the end of the battle. I hope you enjoyed it. Peace out, people.